Hello everyone and welcome back to Rogue 2 Online Replays. Uh, I'm gonna bring you a battle that I uh, fought as Galatia and faced Macedon. He brought more of an elite force. Um, he's got mercenary Cretan archers. He has two Thessalian calves. He has a companion calf and as well as his uh, general being in a companion calf. Which we can't see here, but we saw it at the loading screen. He's got two Thurio Spears, two Thorax Swordsmen, and uh, three Pikemen, I believe. I brought um, four Galatian Raiders, two on each side. I have uh, four Galatian Spears, both wings, and my front line is Galatian Legionaries, uh, which I kind of like. They have quite a good staying power and decent attack and damage um, and then I have three Celtic skirmishers a light horse and my general is in a Galatian nobleman is the only sort of general you can bring actually no I think there's a horse something anyway I start off with um, his Thessalians on the edge here I'm gonna start tossing javelins at him with the, with the Galatian raiders I don't want him to catch me because that will inflict some damages. And as you can see, I, I killed six Thessalians there. Um, trying to make them run away, but they got caught, so they, you know, stayed for a while. And eventually, you know, clicked move, 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 guys, go on, get out of here. At this point, I lost almost half the unit there. And um, these other guys are. Firing their javelins, taking out some other shock cav power. Um, I try to bring my spears out here in case they stay around, but he decides to run away with those Thessalians. Uh, he brought another. He brought the companion cav and his um, blah 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 general, which is also a companion cav on this side. And I saw them, so I'm taking uh, these Galatian Raiders, and I'm gonna actually. I, I so I like to attack his companion. Then I saw the general, so I fire upon the general. Um, I was like, "Hey, look, maybe I can get lucky and kill his general." But uh, while that's happening there, uh, let's see, he's gonna try to chase me away. But as these guys run away, they also shoot javelins. Uh, which is really useful, but at this point I'm shooting at the other companion cab and not his general, so I'm trying to split my forces up. Um, he decides to run away with these guys, and I noticed that he just he's not leaving his um, his hill position at all, which is gonna get annoying for me <laughs> pretty soon. And there I go, I move forward. Because it looks like he's just gonna sit there and micromanage his cab on the side. Which, as long as I have um, javelins with these guys, he isn't gonna be able to do much with his um, hoping you can see. But I want to see the numbers here. The numbers are gonna drop as he's running away. There's four or five kills there. Um, so the big threat to me is uh, number one, his one, I don't know if this number one thing, but his Cretan archers, they're gonna be far superior compared to my uh, slingers for um, skirmisher power. And I'm kind of afraid of his pike man because I, I can't charge in. I know that as soon as I come up, He's gonna just um, move his pikeman forward, and the Thorax swordsman. Um, he actually, yeah. It's, uh, as you say. Right. Thorax swordsman is gonna be an issue, as you'll see later on the road. Um, here he's gonna start to fire at my. At my I'm gonna speed up a little bit. I I start firing and focusing on one of his Cretan archers. And he starts firing on my mercenary slingers as well. Or, sorry about that. They're just Celtic skirmishers. I sometimes <laughs> all the names are like the same thing. All right. Um, as you noticed, I 
I've got to do any damage on his Cretan archers because they have quite a bit of armor for archers and um, he's already taken some kills there there is inflicted even through the woods I thought you know hey I'm in the woods he's gonna all his arrows are gonna have to make it through not do all that much um, and even that I'm taking more damage and I haven't really done I haven't really killed any of his Cretan archers, so that's a problem. And um, so I try to chase him off with my light, light horse. Light horse is fast and is, is good at that. He doesn't have much armor though, so um, I have to watch it. He's, he's bringing his um, companion cav. So I'm like, run away! So yeah, he runs away with his calf too because he doesn't want to chase me. Uh, so my line horse is proving useful as far as chasing him away. And I haven't taken any of the missile fire that he was trying to shoot at me either. Um, so it kind of goes like this for a while. When he uh, brings up his archers again to, to shoot and you know, they're already tired and I I know that he's gonna be up here and try to do the same move where he comes into my horsemen and I was like, oh, whatever, maybe I can just at least get rid of one of them. And I take these guys, Galatian Raiders, to attack his general. Um, and then I was hoping that this guy would go after these guys and that I would be able to hit one of his archers, but uh, he did the smart thing and hit the companion calf into my light horse, which is gonna destroy my light horse and I inflicted a couple more casualties onto the general uh, which is not what he wants so and from here on I, I was like well probably shouldn't be doing this for the whole for the whole game so I'm still firing my slingers and I'm gonna speed up a little bit um, Eventually, I'm gonna move forward, and because um, he was not gonna give up his heel position, as obvious. So someone had to do it. My slingers, uh, one of my slingers, are starting to route, and here comes his real intentions. He's gonna bring his spike to try to stop any sort of infantry that I bring forward. And I knew that my guys have javelins, um, so. I just go ahead and um, move him close enough. Uh, let's see what happens here. Fire! I brought my raiders on the side to try to do some more damage to his Cretan archers. I, I was gonna charge, but I didn't want to. There's all these other units around. At this point, I think this both of these units were out of ammo, so he just charged them into my guys. Which makes it so these guys shot their javelins into the wrong unit. I mean, he, he probably should have kept them in the back. I would have kept them in the back even without ammo because then you have that number superiority. Uh, right now he just tossed away really good numbers um, for me to just waste my javelins. Which is actually going to help him out a little bit uh, later because... I'm gonna approach with these guys up here and expect to see to still have javelins, and I don't. And uh, at this point, he has chased. Um, he has a unit of javelin men, which I actually forgot to mention. And um, okay, and he's chased off my Galatian raiders and did quite a number on one of my units. Um, but he's eventually gonna give up that chase, and I have these guys here. Um, this companion calf is gonna hit my spears, I think. Put up the shield wall. Make that bleed. Uh, so that's not very good for him. I'm uh, losing my Galatian spears on this side. I was trying to charge into what they had here, um, but he brought in his thorax swordsman. I was trying to outflank his pike from the side, and this pike unit actually didn't have his um, pike out, and he was facing the wrong way. So, 
while that was happening, I was like, well, you know, I'll go ahead and do that. So his companion cab gets killed here because he charged him in and, and it was spearmen and stuff. My Galatian legionaries, I didn't notice, but there was third year spears uh, hurling their javelins here. Uh, that's uh, Galatian spears that I was routing. Um, I think these raiders are chasing the javelin men. Um, he's his general from all that mess. I actually forgot where this happened, but it's down to seven men, and um, he actually moves his royal peltas, which were there to like protect the general, uh, moves them away to come up here and toss javelins. I was hoping to be tossing javelins. They're not really tossing javelins. There's still some um, slinger fire going forward, so I'm like, well, crap, I'm out of javelins, so I have to go in. Those are thirty spears, so I go into them. Um, my Galatian Raiders, uh, here quickly, they're gonna be chasing stuff away, but I think I end up killing his general there soon, and I'm trying to get into his spike men from the flanks. Uh, this Galatian Spears is gonna drop because there's swordsmen, and the pike men at this point are in pike wall, and I did notice that. He he fixed it. Um, here I got um, a flank on them, and that was okay, but then he brought in his royal pole test, and that was not okay for my relation legionary, so I was like, run away! Uh, but not really, because he didn't come in. He's actually gonna sit there and toss javelins, so that leaves his companion cab open to my Galatian raiders who are out of ammo, but I charged them into the companion cab general and killed them. Um, Here, his Thessalians um, are taking on my spears, so I'm gonna kill one of his Thessalians, and this other one's gonna stay here, kind of like linger around. Eventually, I notice it. Um, what's what's going on? What else is going on? So yeah, his. Uh, I'm not I'm not trying to engage all his pikemen, obviously, but his royal peltas are tossing javelins. So that's kind of bad. One of my other raiders that were out of ammo, I charged them into the Royal Peltas. That did some damage there, uh, but I end up losing quite a bit of them. Uh, my skirmishers were out of ammo, so I was like, eh, let's see what happens if I charge them in there. That's not good, so I pulled them away. <laughs> Um, so at this point, I'm out of ammo too, and he doesn't have any of his Cretan archers left. The last one is uh, dying there. Uh, he moves his Thessalian Cav to try to charge somewhere. And I eventually notice him and take him out with my Galatian Nobleman. But this whole time, it's his pikemen that are giving me issues. So I'm just trying to move away and I'll flank and do something of that sort. So his pikemen doesn't. So he doesn't get a chance to use his pikemen correctly. Um, he saw these raiders here and chased them with the Thorax Horsemen, which that first volley of uh, spears were devastating. And I was actually surprised at how well I responded to some other stuff here, because <laughs> I was able to like you know move out of the way certain things quick enough. Not everything, but ooh, here's my general. Gotcha. Uh, going into his Thessalians, he tossed a volley of javelins, and then with um, okay, Sorry about that, I will not click on the general That kind of ruined my moment I'm trying to show off a nice Raffle stomp That didn't work out the way I wanted to. Um, I ended up routing one of his uh, pikemen there with the legionaries. I was flanking them halfway. Um, he charges one of his thorax swords into my spears and move them away. 
What else? Get running! My raiders are fighting swordsmen there. As you say. So at this point I have a lot more units on the field than them, so it's just a matter of not getting skewered by his spikes. Um, and he does have the better swords unit uh, against my spears going on there. My, he's chasing away my legionaries pretty much. I think I moved these guys in somewhere. His royal pelt tests are out of javelins at this point. Um, his Galatian spears are not doing very good against his uh, Therio spears. But it's kind of a stalemate, so he moves them away. Uh, what happens here? I'm bringing my general into this Torex source. Just trying to create superiority. Um, eventually, he caught my. Engineers with their spikes. I don't actually know what I'm paying attention to. I think I'm paying attention to this side. Yeah. So. Trying to see what's significant happens. That sh I mean, my the tide is in my favor, uh, but I think there'll be a yep. That's a capitulation. Lost his head. I was waiting for that. I saw that <laughs> in the game. So I'm like, I'm waiting for it. It's gonna happen. So I pretty much try to commit people to where the fighting is, and um, he is not using some of his units uh, correctly, but also same with me, because I have all these units left back here. But eventually all uh, his men start to rout because of the numerical advantage, and um, yeah, fighting. I was hoping to catch more. There's a shield through the shoulder of the guy. And there. And how are they how are they holding that? Stop it. That just ended in the wrong moment. I was hoping to get more um, cool finishing moves or something. So what I've learned from this is that the um, Galatian Raiders are super useful at keeping away uh, the enemy cav. As you see their Thessalians did not get many kills. This guy ended up destroying my light horse and probably also when he ran into my uh, units like head on and into my spears, probably got some more kills there. Um, his general companion calf got nothing. Um, I think for me is, is he used it sort of poorly, like I wouldn't have brought him out, you know, to scout with and chase with and all that stuff. Especially after the first time we noticed that I have all these javelins being tossed at him. Um, his uh, Royal Pelt tested really well uh, with their javelins. And uh, I think actually, besides my general getting 163 kills, one of his Royal th Swordsmen, or Thorax Swordsmen, probably the one that got into my uh, Skirmishers. Uh, that's the unit of the day with most kills. And uh, you see his merchants and Cretan Cretan archers uh, didn't really pay off because most of that fire was uh, on my skirmishers and my skirmishers are so much cheaper uh, than what they did. They probably killed some of my um, other units too, but not a significant amount. Uh, all in all, a good game. I enjoyed it. I was actually fairly nervous. I thought I was going to lose because he wasn't moving up that uh, hill and his pikemen uh, as you can see they really got their money their money worth with, with their um, skewering of people so yeah another game I really enjoyed and I uh, wanted to show you guys uh, these legionaries are very useful 
they have javelins like most sword units and um, they have pretty decent staying power and, and okay attack so if you haven't played Galatia uh, they're kind of fun because you can you know they don't have much uh, going for their horsemen the light horse is pretty cool I misused it I kind of took a gamble and, and tossed him into the to the archers but he, he countered the right way the correct way I should say uh, and took my light horse out but I was expecting to be able to chase more units down with this guy um, and I was impressed with the Galatian Raiders I only really squandered one of their um, one of the units when um, that first cav conflict happened first engagement yeah I hope you enjoyed this one leave a like if you did and I'll see you for the next one thanks for watching